Welcome back to Crimson Grey. Ugh. I'm your main man, Iron Paradise, and yes, let's get into this Yandere stuff with the creepy ass music. It sounds like how I play piano at night. Uh, the next day, John went as early as possible and approached his locker. Anxiously, anxiously, he wasn't sure what he wanted to find. So yeah, that's a great way to start off the episode. Messing up my, messing up the lines. Oh, chocolate heart. There was no note this time, but there was a chocolate heart wrapped in foil. No, it's a feces. Sitting near the south center of the bottom of his locker. John stared at it for a while, then slipped into slipped it into his pocket and headed to class, even though he knew he would be far too early. There was no way he could eat it. If it really if it if it was really a prank. They might have slipped a laxative or something inside of it. That was the kind of things his friends thought was funny. Shitting yourself, mm-hmm. But if it was that girl, it was her feces. Dot, dot, dot. Ugh. It didn't matter now. What mattered was that someone clearly knew his locker combination and could get in whenever they wanted. That could be a real problem. He knew he should come up with some with a solution before tomorrow, but what? Change your locker Tell me teacher, fuck no. Snit uh, snitches get stitches and ends up with swirlies. Tell Miss Smith Why is the music getting freakier? Calm down You know, the piano kind of reminds me of the Neptune tank in Resident Evil. Try to keep watch on the locker. Replace the lock. Leave a note. Please stop messing with me. The, the, the smart thing would be replace the lock, but I'm interested to know if both those notes are from the same yanderer. John spent the whole day near the door, hanging out in the hallway, trying to catch a glimpse of someone messing with his locker. He didn't see anyone, but there weren't any new messages either. Per periodically, throughout the day, he felt certain that someone was watching him, but could never tell who. John lingered at the school until he was basically the last student, seeing no one. When he finally went home, though, the sense of being watched just intensified until he went to sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm. When he woke up the next day, he felt a little bit better. Thank God! Things would be so long as he kept everything in perspective, maybe. I mean, I know... Depression? And most people try to hide it, hide it behind happiness. This guy was like, meh. Here's the real me. I'm not even going to try to fake happiness. I'm not going to hide behind a smile. I'm just going to show it. <clears throat> Making an effort to set, up the, uh, set the mystery of the looker aside, John went with his friends to the rooftop for lunch. They spread out on one side, enjoying the sight of the trees below. Oh, it's like, yo. Midway through the meaningless conversation, John noticed that Lizzie, that's her name, was watching him from the far side of the roof. Her, gla her gaze <laughs> was even more intense than before, so he uncomfortably tried to ignore her and focus on the conversation. Looks like the confession tree is full bloom, huh? You really believe those stories, true love and all that? It works, man. 
I got a buddy who just graduated. He swears he got so much pussy conf <laughs> confessing under it. Oh my god. Lies. The school boys always lie about that crap. Well, if he keeps doing it, then it's not true love, is it? Come on, people have been confessing there for years. You seriously think everyone would confess under the tree if they did nothing? If it did nothing? Nah, man. I think it's a tree of lust. It doesn't gra guarantee true love. I'm, I might have... Uh, shit. Might have misread something earlier, man. Just getting laid. If that was true, way more guys would be into it. But it's mostly girls from what I've seen. What do you think, John? I don't know. Uh, don't be that way. Ah, oh, don't be that way. You dream of a girl confessing to you under that tree, don't you? Hell yeah. Yeah, like that crazy stalker chick. It'd make your heart go all a flutter if she confess, wouldn't it? That tree is magic. Man, I'm telling you, even a sad sack like you could get lucky if you confess there. Don't be stupid, it's just a tree. Whoa! Someone has their panties in a twist! I'm telling you, everyone goes there to... Only because people like you keep telling these stories. There's nothing magic about the tree. People just believe it's, some, uh, it's special because everyone else says it is. Girls think the tree is romantic, so of course they'd more likely to agree there. And guys would have to turn someone down in front of an audience. That's all it is. Shit, man. What is what is wrong with you today? Duh, duh, duh. With an attitude like that, you're never going to get a girl. You're never going to get a girl. Haha. <laughs> You, you insulted the tree. It'll cock block you now. Ha ha ha! Da 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 da. That day, John couldn't get to his couldn't get to his therapy appointment fast enough. Miss Smith smiled at him when he came in, but immediately saw he was unhappy. Are you okay, John? Perhaps you should. Be on a stronger form, form formulation. <laughs> no. Well, our session should make you feel better. Lie down and get comfortable. Miss Smith, does Paxitine have any visual side effect? Oh, Miss Smith, does Paxitine even does Paxitine have any visual side effect? I should hope not. Coltec has the highest of standards for every drug it puts out and Paxitine is nearly its final clinical trials it's nearing its final clinical trials are you having any fission problems just laid back and John laid back and start stared out the window was he really seeing differently or was it all in his head he stared at a stared a long time before he opened his mouth and just started talking everything just feels so gray so are you having vision problems no he's color blind and he's a uh, depressed i was gonna say something else but i don't think that'd be appropriate for this video not literally gray it's just the sky today i remember when i was younger i always thought clouds were beautiful now it's like there's just nothing there, nothing that matters. I look up and I just don't care. That sounds more likely a, to be a mental issue then. Why don't you get more relaxed and talk about it? Taking a deep breath, John did his best as usual. After talking with Miss Smith for long enough, he felt no better necessarily, but at least not miserable. Their session went by in a flash and then he had to head home. He shuffled through his routine easily enough, slept fitfully, and then returned to his school barely more rested.
but when he arrived, he found a huge crowd standing and staring. What's going on? You know that tree students like to confess under? The words made John shiver, even though he wasn't entirely sure why. He shifted to look through the crowd, and then he saw it. God damn! Part <laughs> yeah, achievement. A special kind of romance. Mm-hmm, I bet it is. I, I wanted to look at that picture, damn it! Part of the tree was still burning, but the rest was char. The ashes coated the ground near it. His throat was dry, as if all of the ashes were filling it. What happened? The cops are coming to check it out, but the shop teacher said it looked like an arson. Someone covered the tree in gasoline and burned it down. What a waste of gasoline! What you should use is like, you know, vodka and, you know, put put the cloth in it, light it, flays, and boom! Molotov. Alcohol isn't going anywhere. You make that crap out of potatoes. Dot, dot, dot. See, this is why we need cameras. I've been telling the principal for years, but does he listen to me? No, no one thinks. The words slipped, uh, the words slid off his mind and John turned away without even saying goodbye, not entirely sure what he was doing. He stumbled straight to his locker. When he opened his locker, he discovered a folded note set in the exact centre. Like always, he stared at it for a long moment before unfolding it with trembling hands. The music is so damn something. I didn't like that tree either. Oh, with fancy handwriting. Ooh. He stared at the words as if they were a foreign language, wishing he could avoid understanding the conclusion. I didn't like the tree either. Either. However, God damn it! Didn't didn't I have this problem in uh, my life as a maiden, where I didn't know how to say either or either, as either or either, either. It's either or either. It's either. <laughs> It was her. It had to be. None of my friends would be this, that insane. And, oh, you called her insane. And what would be the point of a prank like that? But was that the point of her? Huh? But w what was the point of her? For her? God damn it! What did she think she accomplished? Should he tell someone? But this wasn't exactly evidence. And did he really want her to get in that much trouble? Give me a choice, come on. John decided he was being stupid like usual. He just needed to talk to her and find out exactly what was going on. Put an end to this. That day, whenever he was in a hallway, he could feel her eyes on him with every passing moment. He became more sure that he, she, had burned down the tree, burned the tree down. My, my, my bad for reading so poorly. He wondered if a normal person would be <clears throat> afraid now. But for him, it was barely penetrated his numbness. He just wanted to find out what was wrong and put an end to it. Uh, it took until after school for him to find a chant. When the teacher handed out excitements, he volunteered to clear, clean the roof. John stepped onto the roof and headed to the far side. After a few seconds, he heard the door open again. He ignored it and instead climbed up the tank. Why? The upper area was meant to be blocked off, but the 
janitors had stopped putting up the ladder years ago. He turned to his shock. She was already coming up the ladder behind him. Reaching the top, she held her hands close to her chest and shuffled her feet. Demuly, oh god, why can't I read? But there was a spark in her eyes. It looks like sadness to me. Hello, Lizzie. Dot dot dot. Uh oh, are you never going to greet me? She smiles. Dot dot dot. Hello. Uh, I said it. I said it. Why are you following me? Because I I le. Dot, dot, dot. Could this girl really have burned down the tree? It didn't seem like she had it in her. Oh, believe me, she does. Were you the one leaving me the notes in my locker? Yes. How did you know my combination? I, I watched you. Woo! Why were you... Why were you watching? Who else would do that for you? Is is there another girl? Oh, no, no, you wouldn't do that. Surely not. Oh, oh, please no. John realized that he was in way over his head, yet his mouth was still moving, asking in in inevitable questions, inevitable questions. Why did why did you burn it down? Her fate. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Because it was a stupid tree. You're so smart. You said it just right. It was awful and stupid and I hate it. And I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate. 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 John then began to piss his pants as this girl started to scare the fuck out of him. Yeah. It's all because of you, John. I could never do what I needed to be done before. Now I can. She wasn't stable. She wasn't even close. What had he gotten himself into? I finally found you. You're the only one for me. Well, <laughs> that look though. But I even knew that he should do something. Run away. Call for help. Yet. Why? Huh? Why do you care about me? Oh, the spark from my eyes just went. How can you ask that? You, you're, you're the best person, the only person. Hey, hey, I, I didn't mean to click on save. Jeez, I, I didn't even click on that. Bullshit! I'm just another high school boy. No, not even now. I'm worthless. Oh, her stance. No, 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 no. <laughs> you upset her. Why did, Why would you do that? John, let me make all the decisions. You clearly are terrible at it. Don't say that. No. <laughs> Don't say that. It's not true. It's not. I'm broken. My brain doesn't work right. And even the strongest drugs don't make the difference. No, that's not true, John. It's perfect. Perfect. How can you say these things? The way her words flow together. Addressing him directly one moment and in a third person the next bothered him and almost as much as he the look in her eyes whatever her issues was it went deep so it looks like you're about to break up with her you're not well Lizzie you need help John you're a stupid piece of crap you don't address a crazy person by telling them they're crazy like that. That's how you get stabbed, shot, mauled, whatever. Beaten with a baseball bat until your skull caves in. Hell, you're on the rooftop. You go for, you, and not only that, you're on the septic tank. Not septic tank. The tank roof bit there. She could throw you off there. I see no. I see no um fence there. Uh, you, you said. My name. But I can't help you. I'm not worth anything to anyone. Just forget about me and find someone else to care about you. About. No. No. I could never. You're the only person who matters. But why? You don't even know me. 
You don't care about me. I just... Oh, her face. Just part of your problem. No! You, this sounds like a terrible way to break up with someone and you're not even together. It would be... It would be better if I was just gone. If I was gone. Maybe you'd be... Maybe you'd get better then. That's not true! It's not! I love you! Jesus Christ! Bit soon? I love you, John. I always loved you. When? Dot, dot, dot. I've watched you always. You're so good and kind and perfect and even to a girl like me. Oh, look at that cute little smile. He could barely even listen to her words. John found himself wandering closer and closer to the side of the building and she followed him automatically. You're so sad, but you're still kind. I don't know how. You should be broken like me, but you... I can't help you. If you want to help yourself, you need to forget about me and get the real help. Oh, John, shut the fuck up. No, no, don't say that! You're... you're confused. Yes, confused. Poor John is so depressed, he's not thinking straight. He doesn't understand how much I love him. Oh, Jesus, a knife, as I said. And that was really loud in my ears. It hurt. That I felt the knife cutting through my eardrum. He needs my help. What are you going to do? D don't, don't, don't. Don't stab me. Don't cut me. Don't slice anything off. Especially down there. He needs my help. The world froze for a moment as the knife glinted and all he could do was stare at its edge. That's a fancy stabbing knife. It's not even like a kitchen knife. She got a real knife. She go. She went out and paid for that knife. To do some serious harm to someone. You just need someone to take care of you. I'll stop everyone who says unkind things about you. Oh gosh, she's got to kill the whole school. He needs my help. The world froze for a moment as the knife glinted and all he could do was stare at its edge. You just need someone to take care of you. I'll stop everyone who says unkind things about you. No. No, I should just take you home and keep you there safe. Yes, you just need some help. Where the hell has she gotten that knife? Because it's a perfectly good knife made for stabbing and serious harm. It's not no kitchen knife or anything. It's a proper, like, dagger knife. Would she actually use it on him? A second later, John realised that was a foolish thought. This girl had burned down a tree because he said it was stupid. He had no idea if there were any limits on what she might do. Dot, dot, dot. And would that really matter? He spent nights lying in bed wishing he had never been born, wishing he had a way to end it all. Haha, <laughs> you can't threaten me. J John, get away from the edge, it's not safe. He took several steps to the fairy edge before she could stop him and turn around to face her. The back end of, the, of his shoes hung off the edge of the building, nothing between him and a fatal fall. Well, guys, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it off there. I've been your main man, Aaron Paradise. Uh, thank you for watching Crimson Grey. I don't know how it can be crimson and grey, but it is. But thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share all that fancy stuff. And I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you.